Welcome to the Philippines Premier Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A mid-size sedan from Mazda, the Mazda 6 2.5L Skyactiv G Turbo Sedan, and a van from Maxxis, the V80 Comfort. Plus, a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two compact SUVs, the Ford Territory Titanium Plus versus the Geely as Caro Luxury. On Autopedia, we'll talk about a vehicle's shock absorbers. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the all-new Honda City be the drive as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus, and we'll be right back after this short break. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Your city is about to change. Are you ready? Ready to rise? Ready to rock? Ready to go? Ready for more? Ready to rule the city. The all-new Honda City. Ready to rule. Live Extra with the Mitsubishi Expander Cross. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. If you're looking for a sleek and classy mid-size sedan to drive or to be driven in, then maybe the new Mazda 6 is for you. It is arguably among the sleekest and classiest sedans on the road these days. The Mazda 6 can stand out in a lineup of sedans in a parking lot, easily catches the eye as it zooms past. Mazda's successfully adapted design cues from the Mazda Vision Coupe, named the most beautiful concept cars of the year at the 33rd Festival Automobile International back in 2017, in the making of the Mazda 6 looks sleek and stylish. One can easily see the Mazda Vision Coupe's design elements in the Mazda 6 2.5L Skyactiv G Turbo Sedan, which is 4,870mm long, 1,840mm wide, and 1,450 millimeters at its highest point. The slit-eyed swept-back adaptive LED headlights feature auto on and off and auto leveling function. The mesh grille mimics in part the distinctive fascia of the Mazda Vision Coupe. External features are not only aesthetics but also functional. The body-colored side mirrors adjust and folds electronically. The wipers turn on automatically when it rains. Other external features include dual exhaust pipes and electric glass sunroof. It is also shot in distinctive 19-inch alloy wheels wrapped by 22545R19 tires. The interior of the Mazda 6 2.5L Active G Turbo Sedan can also be described as sleek and classy. The deep chestnut Napa leather upholstery for seats and trim coupled with Senwood accents can only be described as classy. The leather also goes on the steering wheel and the shift knob. Sleek and almost minimalist describes the dash and instrumentation. Cutting edge and luxurious describe the functionality and convenience inside the Mazda 6. A smart keyless entry system makes ingress and egress very convenient. It's also got power everything. Windows, steering, door locks, plus push engine start stop button. Automatic dual zone climate control system with rear ventilation loops. The driver's seat is ventilated for cooling or warming, and power adjusts 10 ways with memory function to remember the perfect driving position. The front passenger seat is also ventilated and power adjusts 6 ways. 
The rear seat for three splits and folds 60-40 and comes with a fold-down center armrest with two USB ports. There are buttons and switches on the steering for audio and Bluetooth as well as cruise control. There are also paddle shifters. A 7-inch LCD display provides a neat info for driving. Audiophiles will love the infotainment system that uses the Mazda Connect system and comes with touchscreen LCD monitor, USB port, Bluetooth connectivity for hands-free and smartphone mirroring, and an 11-speaker Bose sound system. Exciting and safe both describe the Mazda 6 2.5L Skyactiv-G turbo sedan driving experience. This starts with the 2488cc 4-cylinder 16-valve DOHC gasoline engine. With Skyactiv-G dynamic pressure turbo, the engine generates 231 PS at 5000 revolutions per minute and 420 Nm of torque at 2000 RPM. The engine is mated to a Skyactiv drive 6-speed automatic transmission with sport mode. Driver can control gear shifts with paddle shifters. The suspension uses McPherson struts in front and multi-link system in the rear. The brake system uses front ventilated and rear solid disc and comes with electric parking brake and auto brake hold functions. The Mazda equipped the 2.5L Skyactiv G turbo sedan with loads of driver assist and safety technology features that include lane departure warning with lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert, front and rear parking sensors, 360-degree view camera, anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, and dynamic stability control. Other safety features include six airbags, child locks, ISO fix, and seat belts with signal warning lamp for front and rear passengers. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Welcome back to Autofocus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. There is said to be only two facilities in the world that meet the unique fit to BMW standards for dealership of the German maker of premium automobiles, and one of them just opened just a stone's throw away from EDSA. This is the RSA Motor Greenhills, a 1,800 square meter BMW facility at the corner of Connecticut Street, corner Florida Street, Barangay Wakwak, Mandaluyong City. SMC Asia Car Distributors Corporation, the official importer and distributor of BMW in the Philippines, said RSA Motors Green Hills is the latest and largest BMW dealership facility in the Philippines. RSA Motors Green Hills uh, is our new flagship store. It's been quite some time in the making. We've had all these delays due to the pandemic, no? but finally we were able to open our doors. And the significance of which is that so uh, we now have a flagship showroom which should even elevate the BMW ownership experience. According to the company, the facility features signature furniture pieces and design elements that coupled with a more personalized customer service, creating an atmosphere that's unmistakably BMW. The new BMW dealership comprises four floors. The ground floor houses the main showroom, showcasing the BMW 1 series up to the BMW Z4. A service bay for basic preventive maintenance work and quick diagnostics and the Isata Cafe for lounging. Also on the ground floor is the car delivery room, a special place where a new buyer gets his dream BMW. On the second floor is the showroom for BMW M vehicles, the BMW 7 Series and X7, as well as another lounge and cafe. I'd like to invite all the viewers of STV to 
pay a visit to our newest flagship store in Green Hills. It is uh, 403 Columbia Street, corner of Connecticut, Mandaluyong City. This is just oh, a street away from Etza on Connecticut. To take a look at the new flagship store BMW RSA Motors Green Hills and see for yourself, like what I told Janelle, uh, we can read about it, we can watch it on YouTube, we can talk about it, but the experience, I promise you, will be totally different when you visit our new store. Well, under MECQ, RSA Motor Green Hills is open from Monday to Saturday, 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. The Geely Auto Group has unveiled the KX11, also known as the Singye L, at the 19th Shanghai Automobile Show, which runs from April 19 to 28. Geely says the KX11 is a heavyweight SUV model born from the CME architecture and incorporates long-term accumulation of technology from its years of manufacturing, sport utility vehicles, and deep insight into users' needs. According to Geely Auto Group, the rollout of the KX11 signals the company's entry into the Geely Auto 4.0 era of model manufacturing, in which it expects to lead the industry in safety, health, performance, and energy savings. Geely added that with the KX11, it aims to lead in the development of intelligent SUVs in four major areas, automotive OTA or over-the-air technology for upgrading vehicle software, 5G internet connection, intelligent digital cabin, and application of automatic driving technology. The KX11 Dash sports a giant IMAX 1-meter long screen, a 25.6-inch AR HUD heads-up display, and a 12.3-inch intelligent instrument screen with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8155 chip supporting a 5G high-speed network. Honda Cars Philippines has added the all-new city hatchback to its lineup. We have further expanding the city model lineup with the introduction of the all-new city hatchback. The all-new city hatchback is a Honda's newest offering in the B-segment category. With its sporty hatchback body styling, advanced technology features, and ultra versatility, we believe that the city hatch will be worthy alternative to the iconic Honda Jazz, but moreover, it will be modeled that will make its own mark in the automobile landscape. Well, it has the same 2,600 millimeters wheelbase, the city hatchback is 21 millimeters higher but 204 millimeters shorter than the city sedan. Only one hatchback variant is joining the local lineup of the all new Honda City. This is the RS variant which comes with RS design front bumper and gloss black front grille with RS emblem. Full LED headlights and LED daytime running lights, high gloss black power folding mirrors, and 16-inch two-tone Berlina black aluminum alloy wheel as well as RS design rear bumper with diffuser, high gloss black tailgate spoiler, and full LED taillight. The hatchback sporty interior features suede and leather seats, black interior trim with red stitching and accents, leather wrap shift knob and steering wheel with audio controls, front and rear center armrests, sports pedals, and multi-information display with red illumination. It also comes with an 8-inch advanced touchscreen display audio with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Mebling connectivity, an 8 4 plus 4 tweeter speaker system, and a new air conditioning system with rotary knobs, digital display and illumination, as well as a one-push start system with smart entry keyless entry system and remote engine start. Safety and driver assist technologies include vehicle stability assist with agile handling assist, emergency stop signal, anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, hill start assist, and multi-view rear camera with dynamic guidelines. The hatchback city is powered by 1.5-liter four-cylinder DOHC IVTEC engine that generates 121 PS and 145 Nm of torque and is painted to continuously variable transmission. With the city, we love our best-selling nameplate here in the Philippines. We believe that the introduction of the all new city hatchback would allow us to continue addressing the various mobility needs and demands of our Philippine customers. Suggested retail price is 1,115,000, exclusive of the 13,000 peso safeguard duty cash deposit. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. I say.
think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Be it fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado Restaurant, only for the foodies. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. SUVs and crossovers now come in all shapes and sizes, all levels of trim and price points, and now even more powertrain choices including even mild hybrid systems. Head-to-head -head pits two SUVs with different powertrains in a spec-to-spec -spec comparo, the Ford Territory Titanium Plus and the Geely Ascara Luxury. Among the first vehicles to be launched online in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic last year were two compact SUVs, the Ford Territory and the Geely Ascara. Both got good reception from buyers and helped revive vehicle sales when authorities began easing quarantine restrictions. Leading the charge for respective brands were the Territory Titanium Plus CVT and the Geely Ascara Luxury. The Ford Territory is 4,580mm long, 1,936mm wide, and 1,674mm at its highest point, with a 2,760mm long wheelbase. Distinguishing features of the top-of-the-line territory include the gloss black grille with chrome inserts, LED headlamps, LED front and rear fog lamps, LED tail lamps, power-adjustable, power-folding, heated side mirrors with integrated turn signals, chrome door handles, shark's fin antenna, rear spoiler, roof rails, 18-inch alloy wheels wrapped by 235-50R18 tires. It also comes with a panoramic roof that can hide or reveal the sky with a push of a button. The all-new is 4,544mm long, 1,831mm wide, and 1,713mm tall with a 2,670mm long wheelbase. The Ascara exterior features the Geely Expanding Cosmos grille, dynamic diamond LED headlamps with LED daylight running lights, stereoscopic rear spoiler, body-colored door handles with chrome accents, power-fold side-view mirrors with integrated puddle lamps and turn signals. Shark's fin antenna and 18 inch aluminum wheels wrapped by 22560 R18 tires. The panoramic sunroof has 100% shading efficiency, maximum anti reflection, and UV protection. It also comes with a power tailgate that can also be controlled with buttons on the key fob. Ford outfitted the Territory 1.5L Titanium Plus CVT with the latest in interior and comfort and convenience features that include smart keyless entry with push button start power windows, speed scenting power central door locks, automatic air conditioning system, 10-inch fully digital instrument cluster display, and cabin air filter for pollen with activated carbon. The territory also comes in 7-cup and bottle holders, Abbott lighting with 7 colors, auxiliary 12-volt outlet. The cabin offers room for 5 adults on seats upholstered in perforated leather. The front seats can be heated and cooled. The driver's seat adjusts 10 ways electronically. The front passenger seat adjusts 4 ways manually. 
the rear seat for three splits and folds 60-40. Wrapped in leather, the steering wheel tilts and telescopes. The infotainment system features a 10-inch touchscreen, Apple CarPlay and Android audio compatibility, USB ports, wireless charging function, and 8 speakers. Geely also outfitted the Exgar Luxury with Napa leather seats and trim with brushed aluminum for accents. The driver's seat adjusts 6 ways electronically. The front passenger seat adjusts 4 ways manually. The second row seat for 3 clients and folds 60-40. The D-shaped steering wheel tilts and telescopes and has controls for the audio and displays as well as cruise control. Latest comfort and convenience features include dual-zone automatic climate control with rear vents, cooled console storage, AC and 95 cabin filter, a 7-inch LCD instrument panel for displaying car and engine function in full color, ambient lighting with 42 different colors, frameless interior mirror. The infotainment system comes with a 12.3-inch high-definition panel, mirror link, phone interaction. The s also features smartphone wireless charging. The Ford Territory is powered by a 1,490cc four-cylinder gasoline engine that generates 143 PS from 4,500 to 5,200 revolutions per minute and 225 Nm of torque at 1,500 to 4,000 RPM. Power is sent to all four wheels via continuously variable transmission with sport mode that drives the front wheels. Controlling that power is a brake system using front vented disc and rear solid discs. The suspension uses front McPherson struts and rear multi-link system. The Geely Luxury comes with a mild hybrid powertrain consisting of 1.5-liter 3-cylinder turbocharged gasoline engine with a 7-speed wet dual-clutch transmission and a 48-volt electric motor synergy or EMS system. Combined, the gasoline engine and the 48V EMS generate a maximum 190 horsepower and 300 Nm of torque. The hybrid system drives all four wheels with drive mode selector allows shifting from comfort, eco, off-road, and sport modes. The s suspension uses front McPherson strut and coil system and multi-link system in the rear. The brake system features a ventilated front and solid rear discs. The territory comes with a host of safety as well as advanced driver assist features including auto brake hold function, anti-lock brake system, electronic brake force distribution, traction control, and hill launch assist. It is also equipped with adaptive cruise control with forward collision warning, lane departure warning, blind spot information system using high definition 360 degree cameras, front and rear parking sensors. The Territory Titanium Plus also features the Enhanced Active Park Assist System which lets the car park itself in parallel or perpendicular parking slots. Standard safety features include 3-point ELR seat belts for 5, child seat isofix anchorage points, and 6 airbags. Julie equipped the s Luxury with electronic parking brakes, anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution and auto brake hold, traction control system, electronic stability control, hill start assist and hill descent control. The s also comes with four high-definition wide-angle cameras and four corner sensors to help driver park in narrow spaces. Other safety features include seat belts for all five occupants in vehicle and dual, side, and curtain airbags. Hybrid powertrains, whether mild or plug-in, or electric vehicles for that matter, seem to have gotten past being novelties or being in the fringes of vehicle markets. They are becoming part of the mainstream. It should be interesting to see how the Geely Luxury fare against the territory and other SUVs in similar segments. Isuzu D-Max into new heights. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where 
we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Humans choose more challenging paths to go up and over our biggest obstacle. Ourselves. New Ford Ranger FX4 Max. Live the Ranger life. Life is about making decisions, acting with certainty, confidence, and grit to create something lasting and big, driving to make a difference. Hino. Welcome back to Auto Focus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. Honda wants to reiterate that the city is a great daily drive for urban streets and country roads. What better way to do this than a test drive of the all-new city on metro streets and winding roads of Tanay and Antipod. Honda Cars Philippines was among auto companies that took advantage of AIDS quarantine restrictions early this year to hold group media test drives. This was all for the all-new Honda City. Of course, health protocols were firmly and strictly observed. Mass and face shields, social distancing, disinfection kits, disinfection of vehicles, COVID-19 tests for all participants. The event was meant to highlight the all-new city's comfort, power, fuel efficiency, and advanced technologies. Today's event is the all-new city media test drive event. This events start from Manila City to Tanay Rizal and Antipolo City. That this event is including city drive and there's a riding road in the provincial area to show our good driving performance for all new city. The media test drive featured the entire lineup of the all new city. From the base model 1.5S manual to the 1.5S CVT, the 1.5V CVT, and the top of the line 1.5RS CVT. This gave participants the opportunity to get a closer look at the all new city's sleek and cutting edge exterior design, as well as its spacious interior now boasting of soft touch premium materials and upholstery. Regarding exterior design, the exterior design focuses on the low and wide stance to show more sportiness of the all new city and the lighting. We apply LED headlight and LED DRL and LED DR combi lights. It showcases the existence in the road. And the interior, the interior space is much spacious than the previous one. And there's a, we apply advanced features a lot, such as one push start to the old variants. And there's a 8 inch advanced display audio with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and WebLink functions inside our all, all new city. We apply all new power train with powerful yet fuel efficiency DOHC IP tech engine. And we apply a lot of advanced features and technology built by our reliable Honda brand. The test drive itinerary included passenger through a mix of city streets and provincial roads, the better way to demonstrate engine response and handling of Honda's subcompact sedan. The stop and go traffic in the city simulated daily drives during the work week. The narrow hilly streets of Antipolo and the wide and winding Marilaki Highway in Tanay Rizal showed how the city can be a fun weekend warrior. The media test drive also provided Honda officials the opportunity to showcase the all new city's suite of cutting edge drive assist systems to last the passive and active safe features that help the city attain consecutive 5 star ASEAN and CAP safety ratings. All new city recently awarded by the ASEAN CAP excellent performance. 5 star ASEAN CAP is the very high rating of the safety. And then we apply the, a lot of safety functions such as the airbags and there's a vehicle stability assist. Such kind of safety functions can support uh, all, our all new city customers' safety driving and your passengers. During the test drive, Honda Cars Philippines President Masahiko Nakamura shared his thoughts on Honda's plans for the year. Now for Honda, we want to continue to devote our customer by providing good product and good services. For this year, we hope we can update some of our product and we want to invite 
our customer and you media uh, for our event in a few months after. So we want to continue to be the company. Society uh, want to exist and we want to be a special company, not a volume seller, but we want to provide advanced value and uh, very excellent service to the customer. Honda hopes these stories, features, and posts on traditional and social media will whet the appetite of people to check out for themselves the all-new Honda City at the dealerships and Honda's virtual showroom, and to even request for test drives themselves. So to see a uh, new Honda City, please uh, visit to our 38 dealership nationwide or uh, to visit our virtual uh, Honda at Honda Cars Philippines official website. Thank you. Dealerships should now have resumed operations in the NCR Plus area. The virtual showrooms are certainly open, too, and people should take time out to check out their dream vehicles, like the all-new Honda City, online or at dealerships. Better yet, schedule a test drive. I think my dad is secretly a superhero. He's the coolest, smartest, strongest person alive. No matter where we go, he always makes sure I feel safe. And he isn't afraid of anything. My dad likes to call that the power to lead. I call it his superpower. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. Looking for a passenger van to use as a shuttle service? and something that could also double as a family van, especially for a relatively large family. Perhaps the 13-seater Maxus V80 will do. The Maxus V80 Comfort is a passenger van that is looking to find more room in a market saturated with affordable people movers. At 4,950 millimeters long, 1,998 millimeters wide and 2,132 millimeters tall. With a 3,100 millimeter wheelbase, the Maxxis V80 is among the wider and taller passenger vans in the market. The Maxxis V80 doesn't hurt the eyes with its boxy exterior and short bonnet. It presents itself as a rather modern looking people mover with distinctive louvered grille set between large halogen headlights and large power adjustable side view mirrors. Wide rear dual doors swing out. The V80 sits relatively high above the ground on 16 inch alloy wheels, but wide rear sliding door and electric powered retractable stepboard make for easy ingress into the spacious cabin that comes with fabric upholstered seats for 13 passengers, including driver. The driver's seat adjusts eight ways, while all 10 individual seats in the rear reclines for added comfort. The sitting arrangement is also configured to allow for easy access to all seats. The V80 also features central door locking, power windows on the front doors, sliding windows in the rear, as well as front and rear air conditioning. 
The instrument cluster is placed in the center of the dashboard above the audio system that comes with radio tuner, aux in, USB and Bluetooth, and plays through four speakers. The V80 is powered by a 2.5 liter, four cylinder, 16 valve turbocharged diesel engine with common rail direct injection system. Mounted transversely, the engine can generate 136 PS at 3,800 revolutions per minute and 330 newton meters of torque from 1,800 to 2,600 RPM. The engine drives the front wheels via a six-speed manual transmission. The V80 comes with a suspension system that features front McPherson struts and independent parallel leaf springs in the rear. The V80 is also equipped with anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, rear parking sensors, and immobilizer. Also adding to safety are dual airbags, three-point seat belts for driver and two front seat passengers, and two-point seat belts for those in the rear seats. Maxus V80 Comfort is a passenger van that is looking to find more room in the market saturated with affordable people movers. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Hi, this is Sydney, and today we'll talk about shock absorbers. So this is your vehicle's shock absorber. As the name implies, it absorbs the shock of the bad roads that we have here in the Philippines. Now, old timers will ask you, and then, ano yung shock mo? Fluid or gas? Wala nang fluid shock ngayon. They're all gas shocks. But here's the thing. Inside here is both gas and fluid. It's called gas shock because up here, there is pressurized nitrogen gas here. But the shock absorption, is still done by oil, it's still a fluid. It's just that the old old shocks don't have any pressurized gas and it's just fluid. So now it's both gas and fluid. All shocks right now are like that. As you can imagine, this thing goes up and down to absorb the shock. This is actually called a McPherson strut, after named after the guy who invented it. So what that simply means is that there is a basso here where the spring sits. This bolts on to the axle and the hub, and this bolts to the chassis. So the big question is, how do you know if sira na yung shocks mo? The easiest, fastest, and most sure way to find out, you have to take the shock out of the car to be able to tell if it's busted or not. So here we have two shocks. One is new, one is old. This one is busted, and I'll show you why. As you can see, it don't go up no more. Effectively, this thing is not absorbing any shock at all. And we compare it to a new shock. As you can see, it has to go up on its own and it has to go up pretty fast. If it doesn't go up this fast, it's also busted. Or dead or dying. New, old, dead, alive. You may have heard the old school advice also. You make kalog kalog the car to see if the shocks are okay. That is also not true, and I'll show you why. We have several cars here to demonstrate. The old school wisdom is, if it does that, that the shock is okay. No, not necessarily. Because what you're doing is just pushing down on the spring, and it just goes up. What makes the shock goes up is actually the spring. Then we have here another car. <laughs> it doesn't go up or down, so what does that mean? The shock is busted? No, it's not. BMs are really like that. That's why the handling is good. Uh, here, we have a Fortuner. It bounces a lot more than the Ford Explorer. But is the shock dead? No, it's not. It's just really like that. <laughs> so that method doesn't really work. You cannot be certain if your suspension is good or bad just by doing the bounce test. No, because every car behaves differently when you bounce it. So the only real way to know if your shock is good or bad is to have it taken out, 
and then do the press test what I just did. Ano magandang bili na siya? You can always always buy OEM. You can go to the casa, buy whatever that they're selling, and then call it a day. It is after all the same spec as what you have. If you're looking for something cheaper, get one of these KYB XLG. This is pretty much the same spec as the original shock, but of course at a cheaper price. And chances are, if you have a Japanese car, KYB has an application for it. So this is a front shock. This is a rear shock. This, I believe, is for a Honda Jazz. This, I believe, is for a Lancer. If you want to step up from something better, KYB also has this. It's called a new SR Special. It looks exactly the same as the shock that's going to be taken out. The big difference is what's inside here. This one will actually give a better ride than what you have because, like I said, it's a shock absorber. It's better at absorbing the shock. And there are things that make it slightly better. A bigger and fatter shaft than the original one. The piston inside here is also better than the valving is also slightly different. And this one is built to take lowering springs if your ride is lowered. Because if you put lowering springs on a OEM shock, chances are in less than a year, your shock ain't gonna work no more as well. So might as well get a set of these. And for German cars, there's only one go-to brand. It's Bilstein. That's it. <laughs>